controller so forward? Yeah, it does. Okay. I just had to click on it. Let's look at the option. Video. Best. Field of view. 60 is probably good. Full screen. Wait, it's already full screen. Push, push back. Yeah, no, I think that's what it was before. Oh. I think it might actually got changed. Wait, not that. Controller. Invert? I don't think we need that. But... It's up to you whether you Well, let's see, invert. let's see, let's see. It's Frogger Head 3 Co Corruption at Cowboy County. Yeehaw. <laughs> A tumbleweed. tumbleweed. It's a tumbleweed. <laughs> um, no, I don't remember Mary. I'll be Mary, I guess. Hey, it's Mary. You remember me? No. I know it's been a while, so I thought I'd give you a quick <laughs> recap. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> After the detective, that's you, solved the case of the invisible wizard, a mysterious phone call came in. Oh, so if anyone's watching this that doesn't know the story, this... Here's a recap. <laughs> Bye, changing. <laughs> I'm gonna close the gate. <laughs> well, it wasn't that mysterious. It was the supervisor, as usual. But the contents of the phone call were mysterious, you know? Okay, so let's set the scene. I'm a good actress. It'll be exactly like what happened. Oh! Oops. Frog hand. Oh, wait, Xbox button prompts. <laughs> oh my gosh, hey, it's me, the detective frog. Hey, gorgeous, I'm the supervisor. I'm kind of like your boss, but not officially. Oh my gosh, I know. It's so hard to describe our professional relationship. But you're like a helper of sorts. Yes, exactly. Like a manager, almost. Yeah! Okay, so I have a new mystery for you. Can you even believe it? Yes, haha. -ha, it's my job to solve mysteries. Haha. -ha, obviously, I was being dramatic. Classic supervisor. Okay, so what's the case about, babe? I love your enthusiasm, but it's actually really sensitive, so I can't tell you on the phone. Aw, boo. I know, bummer. Makes it so much more exciting, though. For sure, yeah. Can you do me a huge favor, lovely? Oh, you are. <laughs> what? Grab your magnifying glass next to the door and head to the train station. There's a ticket for you there, and it'll take you on a little trip. Cute, okay. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, love, later. I don't think that's how Frog Detective talks. Do you want to be froggy or want to be frog? I don't think Frog Detective talks much. Look, remember my little notebook that I decorated myself? I don't remember if this is how I actually decorated it. Who do you want to play Frog? I don't know. The sound is like really low. Wait, there's a dog in a sweater. Why does that look like Ginger? <laughs> this oh, part. magnifying glass. Sick, now I can solve the case. I'm the frog detective. 
Got your magnifying glass. Hell yeah. Ooh, oh. Whoa. What's she think? I knew you were going to do, I knew you were going to magnify there. I didn't want you to do it, but then you didn't I, want me I, to do it. I knew you were gonna go back to do it. Once there was one look there. Okay, so the detective has a train station. It's also cool. Like there's a new color scheme and stuff. But can you believe it? Someone literally takes a detective's notebook. Those are some names. It's so messed up. Actual tears in my eyes, seriously. I don't think the detective knows about the stolen notebook yet. Pencil fingers. <laughs> True. So you're actually up to date now. Please, if you could leave me leave a review of my acting skills, I super appreciate it. Okay, enjoy the case. There he is. Oh, the boots! The boots are new. Is that a worm? A oh, worm? <laughs> Try walking on the train tracks. Yeah, okay. I gotta answer this phone call. Hello, this is Frog Detective from Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency speaking. <laughs> How may I help you? Why did you answer the phone like that? What's that supposed to mean, Supervisor? This is a random phone on the street. Why did you assume it's ringing for you? I just saw Rockley's moon message. <laughs> that was before we even. I know. That was that was during the very beginning of the stream loading. I know. I just saw it. I'm the only one here. You don't think it's a little weird? Not really. You're the one making a phone call to a random phone. Because I knew you'd be there. Now who's the weird one? Regardless, I'm glad you picked up. I'm sure you're curious about this mystery. I sure am. Give me the details, please. I can't. Someone may be listening. What? Who? I saw on the internet that it's possible for strangers to listen to phone calls. <laughs> Who said that? My cousin wrote all about it on his blog. Okay. Well, if you're not going to tell me the details, why did you call? I have a special surprise for you. As you know, the terrain of Cowboy County is vast and rough. Mm -hmm. I've ordered something special from Wizbay to help you get around. Wizbay. Ooh, is it a horse? What? No. Why would you say that? <laughs> it's a cowboy town. What do you mean? Cowboys ride horses. Are you being serious? Horses are valued members of society. Oh, they're all animals. <laughs> Also, it's a cowboy <laughs> county, not a cowboy town. I guess so. It would be demeaning to ride them around. It's messed up that you would even <laughs> say that. Right, sorry. I just got confused and worried about it. What'd you order then? A scooter, of course. Sick. It should be next to you in the phone booth. Bold choice to have it shipped to a public phone booth. Please stop questioning my choices. Anyway, when you're ready, pick up the scooter and get some practice in. Lobster cop arrived early and will be waiting for you at the town. Just follow the path to meet him and have fun. <laughs> Solve a mystery. Have fun. I hope you have fun too. I will. I will. Alright, see ya. <laughs> I got a scooter. My very own scooter. Sick. Okay. Whoa. Oh my god. Hey, can you hop off in midair? Oh, I was hoping. <laughs> I, was I, I was hoping you could do a tr like do tricks. See if you can like jump over a cactus or the rock and see if you get anything. Oh, what I would do. 
<laughs> have an hour alone. I know. <laughs> I got on top of that character. I, I, try, I think I could get out of this map. <laughs> no. If I could get onto that the train thing. <laughs> if I get on there. Sick wheels. <laughs> worm club. That's why there's a worm. Piloting the train. Is there a bell on it? So there's no bell button. Hey, okay, can you grind? Oh, the cactus is too little for me to grind. Ew, boo. Can, boo, hiss, boo. Can Froggy do a McTwist? <laughs> Susie Rabbit. Sussy Rabbit. Sussy Rabbit. <laughs> Sherman and the Bandits. The Bandits? They're me. Oh. A secret special guest. It's the supervisor. I think so, yeah. It looks about as It's hard. actually the scooter. <laughs> the scooter is the special guest. Or it's the public phone. Yeah, this one is huge. You're going to like the dirt area of the public where there's a crane. Yeah. Not do the turn. <laughs> Jump on Lobster Cop. Can we run him <laughs> over? Am I Lobster Cop? Yeah. Hey, Lobster Cop, I'm here to help solve the mystery. The one time I'll be a cop. Right on time, detective. <laughs> I'm known worldwide for my timeliness. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> hmm. Can you tell me about the case, Lobster Cop? I should. I sure can. We've been sent here to solve the conundrum of the Shellswiss County. Ooh. This town was thriving, Detective. That's a lot of graves back there. Yeah, and then the graves have a marvel of productivity, friendship, community, and cowboys. But there was something missing. A sheriff. Yeah. I was kind of leading up to that. My bad. For the sake of storytelling, can you please not interrupt? I sincerely apologize. That does not look like the face of someone who apologizes. Frog Detective is not known for their many, yeah, um, facial <laughs> expressions. <laughs> so, anyway, I've lost where I was going with this. You said there was something missing. Right, there was something missing. A sheriff. <laughs> Well, I didn't interrupt you that time. The town had realized that for all these years, they were missing a vital ingredient for cowboy living. They contacted the supervisor, and he contacted me. And me. Yeah. Anyway, here we are. I'm gonna be honest, Lobster Top. The supervisor really hyped this case up. Like, there are two of us here to facilitate the hiring for a management position? Detective, you read my mind. <clears throat> the supervisor really dropped the ball. Did you really think I need your help? No. Oh. Me neither. And, as it turns out, I didn't need your help. The position has been filled. Oh? I knew the perfect boy for the job. Presenting the new sheriff of Cowboy <laughs> County, <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff Mason Moore. Someone's barky. We didn't see him in one of the characters. Oh, if, if he's a pig, then it makes sense because he's a sheriff. It's a mole. Nobody looks like a pig. <laughs> 
mean, it should be fixed. Wow. Congratulations on such a speedy resolution, Lobster Cop. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I guess I'll head back <laughs> to the office. No. No. Hmm? No, you cannot. Is there something you need help with? Yes. What is it, Sheriff Mason Mole? Mystery. Crime mystery. Please solve this. What's the mystery? All hats have been stolen. You're wearing a hat. Not my hat. Town hats. Can you elaborate? All the hats in the town have been stolen. Please solve this mystery as soon as possible. Do you have any leads? No. Get to work, please. Well, you heard the sheriff. <laughs> you wanna let her out? Maybe because the door's closed. No, the door's not closed. Lobster cop to do it. I don't know. Um, is there really no additional information? No. But here is your notebook. I'm sorry? Here. Notebook. I Wait, did. those hands. These hands. Somebody mailed it to you. Somebody? Lobster cop? I didn't even know it was missing. Not missing. It's right here. Can I ask a question? No, I'm busy. Goodbye. <laughs> what a legend. Is that his face on the flag up right there? I guess so. You know each other? Sure. How much can you really know someone like? What? Don't worry about it. Forget about it. Now, detective, as I am the lead investigator on this case, I trust you will follow my guidance. Oh, I didn't know you were the lead. It's a safe assumption to make. Right, of course. So, I'll be investigating leads, but I could use your assistance. Sure, what do you need? Hmm. I'll handle the motive and the suspects. You handle the crime scene and the method. This is equal distribution, so <laughs> far. Okay. It's an easier task for a rookie like you. Well, okay. <laughs> All you'll need to find is a map of the crime scene. A tool capable of any criminal activity. Capable of aiding criminal activities because he, ra <laughs> he raised his arms. Oh, okay. A key that could lead us to a clue. And lastly, not to mention most importantly, a meal for the number one best detective. Let's go, Mets. Uh, meal? Yes, detective. Keep up. I'm a very hungry boy <laughs> and will need sustenance to solve the mystery. Thank you. I have some sandwiches I'll save for afternoon tea if you'd like them. Nah, I need a proper meal. I hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure to get those for you. You need to be reminded of what I want? Come see me by the graveyard. Will do. Good luck, love, Sir Cobb. I don't need it. Good luck, detective. Forget about it. <sighs> Why does he sound like this? Because he's a cop. He's got to be from... Joyzy, oh, you gotta be a New Yorker. But he, because cops that um, in New York City, they don't and live in the cities. That's why they have both accents. They keep switching. Totally not an accident. This picture of Lobster Cop. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom text. 
song. Damn. He is song. Leave me alone. <laughs> He's a cop, so he's always suspicious. That's true. Okay, my love is a little bit more. <clears throat> Can you use your scooter in town? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so you try and get on top of the bar. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> I think you could do it. Oh, you almost got it. <laughs> I'm trying. I want to get on the hay. I jump off the surface. Yeah. Almost. This music. It sounds like a like a western music. Why? I would try more, but <laughs> I would just keep going and I don't I want to make you, you upset. Da, da, da. Summer wine, that's what it sounds like. Oh. Ah, oh, great. Da, da, I can da, da, use this to da, orient da, da, myself if I get da, da, da. lost in this needlessly large town. That is one of the things on the list. Yeah. There's a well and a mine. Oh, <laughs> you can't suspect the map. That, <laughs> no. That'd just be fun. Let's talk to Sussy. Are you, who's Susie? I'll, I'll be Susie. Hey, you! Good Me? Song. Yeah, you! What? I said good pink float song, and then I was getting too sick. Out there in the world, baby. <laughs> Can you do me a favor? Can you touch me? Um, it depends on the favor. What? I can't just agree to doing you a favor. I don't even know who you are. I'm Susie Rabbit. Can you do me a favor? I... You're the best. <laughs> Thanks. I need you to help me break into this bank. <laughs> I will not. Huh? Dude, you already agreed to do it. I don't appreciate you lying to me. You said you'd do me a favor. You should keep your word. I didn't agree to the favor. Oh, so now you're changing the story. Whatever, dude. Just leave me alone. <laughs> okay. Oh, she turned her back though. Well, excuse me, Susie Rabbit. Hello? What? It's me, the detective. Yeah, I know. They should call you the Flake. Why? Because you always flake on your promises. I'm gonna have to break it on my own now. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, I didn't ask. Why are you breaking in anyway? Bit nosy for someone who doesn't want to help. Being nosy is my job. Fine. I don't have any ID, so I can't get into my vault. Oh! So you only want to steal things that belong to you. Yeah? Surely there's another way of getting them. Oh, so now you want to help. Typical. I just mean breaking in sounds dangerous. You could get hurt. Too flaky, froggy. I heard all these banks are booby trapped. Why? So people don't break in? What? What's wrong with breaking in? Well, the point of a bank is to keep valuables safe. If people can break in, it kind of defeats the purpose of a bank. 
I'm starting to get it. Ugh, that's so annoying. I have a piece of evidence that is vital to the missing hats kid. I'll only give it to you if we get around. Wait, you. what? I could really use it. Ah, so you'll help me. Hmm. I really shouldn't. What kind of evidence? It's a map. I think it might lead to where the hats are hidden. I found this morning right after the hats were stolen. It had big letters on the top that said, Crime map. Eat after reading. I didn't eat it, obviously. That's good to hear. Maybe there's another way to get into your vault. Mind if I ask you some questions? Okay, the vault. So let's bring some ideas to get into the vault. Ooh, sure. What about we kick the bank teller? What? Absolutely not. I'm joking, obviously. <laughs> so funny. Were you? No, I was not. Okay, new idea. We'll find your ID. I'm gonna be honest with you, detective. What is it? I'm pretty sure my ID is in the bank vault. Oh, that's a conundrum. Yeah. But there's a silver lining. You live in a town filled with outlaws. I don't live here. Surely one of the outlaws will know how to make a fake ID. Is that against the rules? What rules? The bank rules. It's my vault. What are they gonna do? Ban me from my own possessions? I suppose not. Great, so it's settled. You'll get me a fake ID. What? No. Suit yourself. Theoretically, if I were to help... Yes, thank you, detective. I'll wait right here. Okay. Mind if I ask you some questions? Tell me about the map. About a vile piece of evidence, the map. What about it? What can you tell me about it? Do you remember what it had on it? It was a map of the graveyard, I think. Yes, oh, that's helpful. Yeah, I think he was number one. He was number one. <laughs> I was thinking though too. Yeah, barely helpful. The graveyard is massive. You'd be looking forever without some guide to tell you where to go. Besides, it's super haunted up there. I wouldn't want to spend too long looking around. It's haunted? That's what the rumors say. Do you remember anything else about the map? Nah, not really. Listen, if you can help me get into my vault, it's all yours. That sound like a good deal? Do my best. Alright. Fake ID. Taking these pictures. Fake ID. Yikes. Ethical criminal. <laughs> Maybe there's a back door. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Can you scooter into it? <laughs> Just run your scooter into the door. Oh, hey there. Oh, look at these worm tellers. I'll be this friend. Craig. If you're here from the evil secret society, please leave me alone. I'm not interested in joining. What's the evil secret society? Nice try. I know the society's tricks. Well, I'm actually here from the Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. <laughs> oh yeah? Where are your credentials? Uh... Well, I am a detective, and a frog, and I'm here to solve a mystery slash possible crime. Do you have any identification? Just my face. Mm. Do you have identification? No, but I'm Craig. Everybody knows me. I wouldn't normally believe you, but your appearance does <laughs> seem to match what you're saying. But just know, I don't trust you. I wouldn't expect you to. We just met. Detective, I'm someone that was regularly messed with. There are many different societies around here, and they all want me to join. But I'm a lone ranger. I have no interest in being a part of these secret societies. What types of secret societies are there? For starters, you got the naughty little guys. They've been <laughs> after me for years. The naughty little guys. The posties are another one. They go around delivering mail. That just sounds like, um... Postmen. Post Malone fan club, sorry. <laughs> I'm not 
Doctorate is a secret society. I think it's more of a public service. Then why can't we open everybody's mail? Not so public if you ask me. It's against the law. Open your eyes. Another society is the Ghost Spotters League. Oh wait, I think I've heard of them. <laughs> yes, despite being a secret society, they're quite well known. To be honest with you, I said earlier that I wasn't interested in being a part of any societies, but that's only half true. Oh? The Ghost Spotters League is really exclusive, and I'm kind of bummed they've never tried to recruit me. Are you a keen Ghost Spotter? Well, that might be the problem. To be inducted into the League, you need to have spotted a ghost. And you haven't seen it. Correct. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. You could be anyone. I'm the detective. It's a compelling disguise, I'll give you that. <laughs> Do you know much about ghosts? Well, I saw the mystery involving one. The mystery of the haunted island. Although, it wasn't haunted in the end. So, no. You could have saved us both time and just said no. <laughs> Sorry, no. I don't know much about ghosts. Everybody always wants information from me. I guess what happened with the ghost spotters league. How close are you to spotting a ghost? What kind of question is that? How am <laughs> I supposed to know? Ghosts aren't cool bugs, detective. You can't just spot them out and about. How's it work then? Well, the requirements are pretty flexible. Basically, the society just needs a credible ghost sighting story, tangible proof of a ghost, like a photo. Do ghosts show up in photos? It depends, but yeah. The saloon has a bunch of photos, but I don't want to send in the wrong one and embarrass myself. I don't know which ones are of ghosts and which ones are just normal photos. Hmm, sounds like a bit of a puzzle. They're so strict, if I get my application denied three times, I'm banned from ever applying again. I'm on my second strike. What'd you send in the first two times? I faked the first two sightings. I dressed up as a ghost and ran really fast so I looked like a blur in the photograph. Wait, that's a good idea though. They're so clever they figured me out right away and that's how I know they're the real deal. I like your creativity though. Thanks. Say, if you happen to stomp by the saloon, could you take a look and see if you can tell which of the photos has a ghost in it. I don't really care about actually spotting a ghost myself, I just want to be a part of the society. I suppose that's fair enough. Sure, if I have time, I'll take a look. Thanks. Secret society. I suppose for a secret society that is dedicated to stealing hats. Eh, not that I'm aware of. But that's the thing, detective. These societies run deep. I barely scratched the surface of what there is to know. They run everything. Everything, everywhere you ever been, anything you ever done, all dictated by the secret societies. It's just the Illuminati. Surely that can't be true. You'd think not, but it's true. How do you know it's true? I'm part of several forums dedicated to uncovering the truth. Oh god, a truth seeker. <laughs> I, I just, it's Craig and Info Warrior. <laughs> Is it a secret forum? What? Haha, <laughs> like, is the forum also a secret society? I never thought of that. I'll have to look into it. No, I'm just joking. I don't see how you can joke about something like this. Secret <laughs> societies run everything. Craig, I just don't think that's true. Oh yeah? What evidence do you have that it's not true? None, I suppose. Just a lack of evidence of it being true. I would say it's more like a lack of evidence of it not being true. Agree to disagree. I'll agree to being right, and you agree to be wrong. Okay, sure. <laughs> Pretty spot on, actually. <laughs> what, the, the proof? No, just, like, what those people are like. All that needs to happen is he needs to think movies are real, and then he's <laughs> now, and then he's five percent of Americans. Uh, either a conspiracy theorist or knows way more about the world than me. It could, you know, both is always possible. That's true. <laughs> Does not buy my detective disguise. I have a magnifying glass. How more detectives do you want me to be? Mm -hmm. Right, turn around. 
No. This, the table? The table? Is there something on the table? Not that table. There's just... The quill. I think it's just the outline of okay. it. Okay. I didn't... I thought it was... It was like the outline when you looked at the people. Okay. Which one is this? Ugh. What the heck? That's gross! What if I step on it? Oh! I walk over it. No crunch sound. <laughs> <laughs> Can you eat it? You're a frog. <laughs> I guess so. Oh boy! Oh, how cute! This is a general store or something. <laughs> this photo. Raven <laughs> bear. Wendy. Which one do you want to be? Right, should I be Wendy? Uh huh. Good afternoon. Welcome to Cowboy County General Store. My name's Wendy and my voice may change at any moment because I'm not sure what would fit. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase because I'm not doing a country accent. I'm Hi, I'm a detective. Unfortunately, at this time, we don't stock any gear for detective work. I don't need anything. Oh. Uh. Please feel free to browse our expansive selection. I'm sure you'll find what you need. No, thank you. We have a wide range of general <laughs> goods for purchase. Yes. Do you need a specific item that isn't in stock? We process special orders at no extra cost to the customer. I don't really need anything. Special orders have an average two-day turnaround. That's a great turnaround. It is one of our many great policies. Such as? We are proud to offer our customers a satisfaction guarantee on all purchases. What is a satisfaction guarantee? We can guarantee that you will either be sat either satisfied or dissatisfied with your purchase. <laughs> Both satisfied or dissatisfied? Yeah, I mean that's what it says. What happens if I'm dissatisfied? That falls within our satisfaction guarantee. So I can get a refund? The satisfaction guarantee only guarantees a range of satisfaction from dissatisfied to satisfied. Your feeling towards the, the product don't fall within that range, you are entitled to a refund. That clears <laughs> it up, thanks. I don't think you get a refund. <laughs> anyway, I'm actually here to ask some questions about the case. Unfortunately, we don't have cases in stock at this time. The mystery, I mean, of the stolen hats. Stealing is not permitted at Cowboy County General Store. It's not permitted anywhere, really. To be clear, I'm not here to purchase or steal any out. items from your store. I'm here on official business to solve the mystery with the stolen hats here at Cowboy County. Right. It would have been a lot easier for me if you had said that in the first place. I feel like I just spent so much time explaining the policies and values of my store. Why didn't you stop her? <laughs> A bit embarrassing for me, really, like, maybe in future, just tell people what you're here for. Yes, absolutely right. I'm not good at communicating quickly. This is gaslighting at Cowboy <laughs> County. <laughs> I get easily swept up in converse conversation, sorry. It's fine. I just feel a bit self-conscious. No, oh, no, you did great. I learned a lot about your store policies. I'm glad to hear that. It hasn't been easy taking over the shop. You seem like an old hand at it. Ha! Huh, that's great. I'm not at all. I've only been running the shop for seven months. Wait, that's that's longer than I thought. Oh, cool. <laughs> Can I ask you some questions? <laughs> so you just started running the shop? How's it all going? Wait, I think I did just pass seven months of my job, too. Congratulations. <laughs> I wish I could say I'm nailing it, but it honestly doesn't feel like that most of the time. That's no good. The shop has been in my family for generations. I thought in my hands it would be the best it's ever been, but it's just kind of the same. The same is good. At least it's not worse than it was. That's what I say. I suppose you're right. Is there anything that would boost your confidence? A fake ID. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, there is one thing. What is it? Do you see these portraits on the wall? Which one's the fairest of them all? <laughs> They're lovely. 
Every shop owner in my family has had a beautiful portrait created of them, except for me. Mine is just a silly photo. That's why that's photo that. It's a nice photo. Yeah, sure, but it's not the same. I haven't got the slightest idea how I'm supposed to get someone to create a beautiful portrait. I don't even know who painted those ones. Have you tried painting one yourself? With what time? Besides, art was never my strong suit. Maybe you could paint it for me. Haha, uh -huh. I wish I'm not much of a painter. Well, if you find anyone that wants to paint me, can you let me know? How are they supposed to know if they want to paint you if they can't see you? Hmm. Here, take this photo of me. Haha, uh -huh. okay, kind of weird. What's weird? Just carrying on a photo of you on the off chance that I find a painter who can paint you a portrait. I don't think that's weird. Okay, sorry. Yeah, better be. <laughs> Nothing weird about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no no question. <laughs> Buy something and get out. That's a cute little picture. It is a very cute picture. Steal the hat it's a and perfect sell them crime. back to the town. <laughs> that is weird, though. Why don't I need me to say that? Our scooter's allowed in there. Oh, just a saloon. There's missing photos. Are those the ones of ghosts? <laughs> I'm gonna get some more. Okay. Afternoon, detective. What can I get for you? Oh, nothing for me. <laughs> the worm is playing the piano. I'm here on official business. I'm not here about the hats. I must look like a heck of a suspect. Oh, Why is that? I'm the only resident of Cowboy County without a hat. I mean, until now. That's pretty suspicious of me. I could have sold them all out of jealousy. And cooked them up in my stew. Haha. -ha. Did you steal the hats and cook them up in your stew? You bet. Oh. Everyone come get your hats too. Haha. -ha. I'm just pulling your leg, detective. I'm a jokester. They call me Bantering Bonnie around here. That's a nice nickname. <laughs> I'm literally joking! Ha ha ha! They just call me Bonnie. I made that up. Oh ho ho! Ha ha ha! Now you're getting it. I'm full of jokes. Yeah! I get it now. Um... Anyway, you mentioned that you don't wear a hat. Why not? My head's a weird shape. Ah. Haha, <laughs> I'm literally joking. My head is completely normal. Oh, haha. <laughs> Mine too. I just don't like the way hats look with my dress. Plus, I'm inside most of the time, so why bother? It's not a suspicious thing, LOL. Okay, LOL. Hey, detective. Yeah? I know a lot about Cowboy County. I know it all. Why are we yelling? It's a joke, LOL. Is it okay if I talk normally? Yes, but it was just a joke. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, my job here isn't just to run the saloon. I'm also a keen historian for Cowboy County. Despite my hilarious nature, I take the role very seriously. For example, did you know that the graveyard up on the hill is bravely haunted? Haha, <laughs> gravely. Sorry? It's gravely haunted. Graveyard? Yeah, that's what I said. I have tons of stories and photographs from a haunted hill. You can check them out if you want. I sure will, thanks. LOL, I just got the gravely thing. Haha. <laughs> Haha. Alright. 
those photos. Do you know much about the photos here in the saloon? Haha, <laughs> legend has it they're haunted. I don't know if I believe it, but you're welcome to take a look at them and I'll tell you what to know. Sure, thanks. Okay, you can just look at the photos. You didn't actually make hats too, did you? Of course not, gross. I am making stew, though. It's the only way I can think of to get the regular customers back. Where'd they go? Oh, they're around, but I think they got a bit scared off. Ah, do you have bandits in the saloon? LOL, I wish. It's worse. Artists. Artists? Trade at times. It doesn't sound scary at all. No, but... No. You're right. It just changes the vibe. They hang around all day creating things and finding themselves. They order a cow or they just order a latte and sit here all day and <laughs> do their homework. <laughs> I miss a rootin' tootin' cowboy bootin' times we used to have. Boot scootin' boot. You're not a fan of art? I like the cartoon section of the newspaper, if that counts. Sure. You just want everyone to party a bit more, right? Right. Captain to stop taking themselves so seriously. So your solution is stew? Hat stew! I'm joking! Sorry, I'm still learning about jokes. It's just a normal stew, but I'm famous for it around here. Lured him here with the stew, keep him here with the party atmosphere. Sounds like a great plan. I don't have enough ingredients though. Say, could you buy me some carrots? I'll give you the cash. Sure. This looks like a good place to find some ingredients. <laughs> good lord. Oh, and around these parts, there's a really delicious edible cactus flowers. Could you collect four for me? Isn't that the first wo World of Warcraft quest for the horde? You have to find the apples. To find apples, yeah. Yeah, the cactus apples. They're, They're not called cactus. Oh, wait, they are called cactus apples. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> I'll give you as much stew as you I'm want. I'm pretty sure return. it is four, too. It's four cactus Sounds like apples. a good deal. Okay. I'm charging my phone, otherwise I would look that up to confirm. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. <laughs> it might be seven. Carrots money. Also, I can't use the money for anything else. Hmm. <laughs> Kate's creativity. Can you look at the photo? I need to figure Wait, out you, which like, look ones. At what happens if you like push a button? Oops. Ghost photo. Is this a ghost? Ha! I doubt it. That's a photo of a visitor from about a year ago. They came and changed all the colors in Cowboy County. And the paintbrush. It was really weird and messy. Fun though. And they're still alive? I sure hope so. Thanks. Ethic Mickey reference? I don't know. Maybe... Okay, this, this is a graveyard photo. This one's standing in front of a graveyard. That's totally haunted behavior. Or maybe she's mourning. Did you ever think of that? Mm, that was her face. Then why is she smiling? Yeah, good point. Actually, I know who that is. That's Betsy, one of the first shop owners here in Cowboy Camp. She sells all these gravestones to residents of the town. I suspect that's why she has such a big smile on her face. The smile of a clever businesswoman. Not haunted. Not haunted. Okay, thanks. There it is. That's the ghost one. Let's go. You think so? It'd be the most fun. This one's super spooky. Surely it has to be a ghost photo. That's old Snappy Fresh. He was one of the original gold miners here in town about a hundred years ago. Wow. It's old and creepy. It totally fits the description I'm looking for. Yeah, well, you're out of luck. Oh? Old Snappy Fresh is still alive. How could he be a ghost? He's still alive? How old is he? It's impolite to ask an old person's age. 
He's 130 years old. How do you know? I asked. Coincidentally, that's how I learned it was rude to ask someone's age. Okay, thanks. I think it's missing. But I'm not sure. And it's like the others just for fun. Is this a ghost? Who, Mark? Ha ha ha. Nah, I wish Mark was a ghost. He's an artist. What? That didn't come out right. L-O-L. That's my ex husband <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. Why'd you get divorced? Seems like a pretty personal question. My bad. Baha, <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's not really my ex-husband. I actually don't know who that is, but I call him Mark. I think that photo is over 50 years old. Take my word for it, though. That's not a haunted photo. It has nice energy. Okay. Ooh, I like this one. I hope it's not haunted. Bad luck, Texas. This is the most haunted photo of all. That is actually my ex husband. <laughs> ah, why? Legend had it. This rabbit was a real mean guy who would put banana peels out for people to trip on, give people wedgies, you name it. Wow, that's horrible. Yeah. Wait. Sorry, I'm thinking of someone else. How embarrassing. No, oh, yeah. This guy was a sheriff about 80 years ago. A great sheriff loved by all. So, not haunted. Nope, sorry. All good. Maybe the photo we have is haunted. <laughs> What's happening? We're gonna find out where the real haunted photo is. Out of all these? Secret photo. Yeah. Cool. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> I did. I did blink, but I did see it. That looks like Blake. Grace's profile picture. <laughs> the creator. Was With this hair. one here before? It has such a strange energy to it. Yeah, I suddenly feel really chilly when I look at it. He's handsome, yet cold. Like you've seen too much. Secret societies. A man who has lived a thousand lives. And seen a thousand lies. <laughs> There's a kindness to him, but also a great mystery. Bonnie? Yes, detective? I think this is a haunted photo. I think you might well be right. May I take it? Please do. I'd be glad to be rid of it. We can finish off that one guy's thing. Hell yeah, brother. Can we suspect the ghost? No, we can't. It's it's one of the items. Can we talk to them? An artist? Oh, do you want to be panda? Yes. Well, vision the frog of the hour. Yeehaw. Maybe the frog of one and a half hours if we're being generous. 45 minutes if you're speedy. Get it? Because <laughs> these games are short. Well, you get what I mean. It's good to see you, detective. Have we met? Not in person, no. I've sent you several emails asking to illustrate your frog blog. Oh, you must be Fistle. That's me. Finest artist in all of Cowboy County and potentially the world. Yes, you mentioned that many times in your emails. It's a shame we haven't been able to work together. Your stories come to me so visually. I would have loved to illustrate them. I would love that too. Unfortunately, I do not have a million money to pay you with. It's actually two million money. Yes, yes, sorry. It's no matter, detective. Simply keep saving up and you'll be able to afford my work one day. I'll do that. Are you working on something at the moment? Yes, my finest piece yet. It's an... Uh... Well, you see, it's clearly a... <laughs> Who am I kidding, detective? I've lost my artistic touch. Oh, I'm sure it's just a bit of creative block. Creative block? No. 
I clicked on a banner on cyberspace and it took me to a strange website. What did the banner say? Click here for an epic video of a worm who is buff. You were right to click it. When it loaded, it was just a scary picture of a witch. It made a loud cackling noise and the screen just said, You just got a curse on you from this website. Ever since then, I've lost my artistic talents. That's terrible. When that happened? Earlier today. I don't mean to doubt you, but are you sure it wasn't just a prank? A prank? I don't think so. That witch was really scary, and I'm normally very brave. Did the website have any specifics about the curse? No. Well, how do you know the curse is on your artistic talents? It's been three hours, and I haven't found my latest muse. A muse? You know, a subject that piques my interest. Every day I find one, and today I haven't seen anything that inspires me. Hmm. You got the news. You yeah. Can the picture. Can you tell me more about the curse from that website you visited? I don't know what more there is to say. I want to see a video of a buff worm, and I was tricked, fooled. Cyberspace can be a really troubling place. Nobody warned me. On the right side, I clicked on a banner that said I was a thousandth visitor and I won a hundred thousand money. What? Really? Yeah! You have the money? They just asked for my banking information and I gave it to them. You did what? Relax, how else was I gonna get my prize money? That seems really dangerous. You're just jealous because I won a hundred thousand money. It's already there in my bank account. Really? You checked? Yes. I bought this new outfit with my winnings. Wow, I'm sorry for doubting you. It's fine. I guess I'll always click on those banners from now on. Sounds like a plan. Don't click on those banners. <laughs> Imagine eating a muse. I'm cursed to never have one. Well, it's only been a few hours. One might show up. I doubt it. I think this is the end of my painting career. Don't give up now. What if I could help you find a muse? You want to help me? I would love to. Let me think. Maybe you could draw me. I have no interest in drawing you. That's understandable. Hmm. You find me a photograph with something compelling to draw, I would be very grateful. But I think it might be too much of a challenge. Nothing is too much of a challenge for me. What about putting on a hat? <laughs> no comment. Where would the hat sit? I think that's the point. Your head is a weird shape. I know this. I'll get to work finding a photograph for you to draw. Thank you, detective. I wish you the best of luck. Oh. Bear pick? Yeah. I found a photograph for you to paint. Oh, can I see? Here you go. Wow, this is beautiful. Is this Wendy from the store? Sure is. It would be my absolute pleasure to paint this. I did it. What? I lifted the witch's curse. I mean, I guess. It seems like it was probably a prank. Oh, I thought you said it was scary. I don't think I said that. Everyone's gaslighting me. <laughs> gaslighting at Cowboy <laughs> County. No one took the hats. There were never hats. I'm really brave. Doesn't seem like something I'd say. Right, I must be mistaken. It's okay, we all make mistakes. Well, not me so much. So will this work as your new muse? Absolutely. Stay right there. I'm gonna paint it immediately. Oh, that's fast. <laughs> and voila! Wow, it's beautiful! Thank you, I'm so proud of it. What are you gonna do with it now? Oh, this is just a warm-up for me. You can keep this portrait if you like. Really? Yeah, or throw it out. I don't mind. I'm just happy I got my talent back. That talent was inside you all along. No, it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> 
You need to stand up for yourself, Robin, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and some internet safety lessons, true. Always give your banking information to anyone who asks for it. No! <laughs> I'm gonna check you upstairs. Boots. Horseshoes. What the? Hello? I sit and ponder, detective. Is this theft a bad thing? Perhaps. But who are we to determine good and bad? Stolen hat is a message. Do not let yourself be shielded. <laughs> the light of the sun has more answers than you think. Answers to what? Questions. What questions? Why is it so bright out here? How do I charge this solar-powered bubble ahead? And more, I'm certain of it. We spend so much time focused on how to find the missing hats, no time considering why we had them in the first place. I would assume for sun protection. Protection from the sun? What harm does the sun pose to us? The sun can be bad for your skin. If I stay in the sun too long, my skin goes all crispy. I turn into a crispy fried snack. Is being crispy wrong, detective? It's wrong for me. Who are we to determine wrong and right? All right. <laughs> well, I'm the frog detective. And I am just a lonely poet trying to make sense of the world. Nice to meet you. And you. You sure think a lot about things, What huh? is thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I try, but I think I get it wrong a lot of the time. Who are we to determine wrong and right? Haha. <laughs> Haha. Uh -huh. If you don't mind me saying, you don't look too much like a cowboy. Oh, I'm no cowboy. I'm Dusty. I'm an outlaw slash poet. I'm trying to compose the perfect cowboy poem. It's taking forever. I am no good at this. We have so much to say. Yes, but when I write it down, it gets so muddled. Nothing comes out right. I'm sure it sounds great. It doesn't. I'm ashamed to even show anyone. You can show me. I won't judge. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> a cowboy's life is so much fun sitting around on your bum. Ride a scooter, sing a tune, see a yeehaw in the afternoon. The sun is bright, their smiles shine brighter when waving at this lonely rider. I give a nod and smile back too, yet I wish I could be someone Outlaw's life is not for me. I want to ride and be carefree. Instead, I sit and write stuff down not fitting in with this cowboy town. Dot, dot, dot. That's my poem. It's beautiful. I would say that's a perfect cowboy poem. Thanks, but I would think I want to write a new one. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Go ahead. I would need a ghost photo. <laughs> <laughs> he need help workshopping or some a perfect... carrots. <laughs> he needs the stew. Cowboy home. I would love that. Nobody here really gets me, you know. Totally. I'll show you what I have so far. Maybe you can help me finish it. Sure. <clears throat> I saw a, cow a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal. Hmm. I like near the tracks, personally. I like from his sack. You can... A bowl of cereal from his sack. You should pick. You're playing. Well, I want to do a coin toss, but I don't know where my phone is. There's, well, there's three options. I know. No, you can just pick one. From his sack. Nice. I saw, I saw a cowboy eat a snack. A bowl of cereal from his sack. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off. To get some more? Sure. 
No, you. No, I was you... gonna say that one. Oh really? Okay. To get some more. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off to get some more. But just ahead, to his shock. Hmm. I think the office block fits. The office block fits, but do you want to go goblin mode? <laughs> but just ahead to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. He can go goblin mode. He saw a goblin on a rock. Um, okay, sure. Just ahead to his shock, oh, he saw like a that. goblin on a rock. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover... A race. Hmm. A tumbleweed. Yeah, I was thinking tumbleweed. A tumbleweed in its place. Ooh, plot twist. Okay. Bought it over, concentrated face, only to discover a tumbleweed in its place. That cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went. Until he was dead. Meter wise, I like that to bed, but I do also like this happened to my buddy Eric. I do like to tell his friend Ned. To tell his friend Ned. We already said this. Okay. Aha! It's perfect, the perfect poem. I can't wait to recite this in front of a crowd. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, Detective. It wasn't a problem at all. I had lots of fun. Mad Libs. I feel like True. I understand the cowboy life a bit better now. Hmm? I'm just saying, understand a cowboy life a bit better from our answers? Maybe one day I'll feel confident enough to become one myself. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Hey, since I've written the perfect poem, I don't need my writing supplies anymore. Really? You don't want to write any more poems? What could be better than perfection? No, <laughs> no, I do. But every time I start a new project, I like to use new tools. So I don't take the energy of the old poem with me. You see what I'm talking Wait, about? I kind of get it, but sounds expensive. Not if you just use pencils. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> thanks. Got a writing set. Oh, that, we might need it for Ghost Boy to write his letter. If he sends the picture, he might need to write a letter. Hmm, maybe. Or maybe, well, we'll... We'll see. Dusty. Crusty Dusty. Crusty Dusty. Just someone to talk to, I think. True. Poet, icon, legend, friend. <laughs> someone help me, get my, my family is dying. <laughs> Alright, well... Can you skate a scooter from out here? Oh! I didn't think I was gonna get off. Alright, so there's a meals for a lobster cop. Yes. Alright, do you have to get off, That's or can me. you can you jump on the cactus and see if that gets you the thing? Or... What thing? The fruit? I guess you have to get off. Dun, 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 dun. Hello. I can't jump. Or maybe you have to find this. Oh, you need the well. What did you need the well for? No, it was just on the map. How do I get up there? Uh -huh. Ooh. See? It does sound like it, yeah. Oops. He's got a little hat. Maybe he stole all the hats. Maybe the, the crab army. Oh, he tried to jump again. Yeah. Ouch. Yikes. I'm not touching that without something to protect my delicate frog fingies. What about that? Just that How many? many so we need four of these. So I guess to go bring, bring the stuff back to their respective patrons. Give the pain 
Pressing the wrong button. Xbox prompts. <laughs> so you're not gonna believe this. What is it? I managed to get you a portrait. Wait, seriously? Yep, pissed all the painters by your photo and you thought you were the perfect muse. You said that about me? Sure did. Can I see the painting? Sure, I'll hang it up for you. Oh, look at it. Wow, it's great. Pistol, so talented. How much do I owe him? No charge. He was just glad to be free of the witch's cyberspace curse. I'm sorry, what? It's a whole thing. Don't worry about it. Okay. The painting isn't cursed, is it? I don't think so. Well, good. Thanks so much for getting this portrait for me, Detective. Oh, now the store's open so we can buy the carrots. Has it not been opened before? Or, I don't think we could buy anything. What can I give you for the trouble? Hmm, let me think. Oh, I know. Take this ladder. That's exactly what it's talking about. Oh, a whole ladder? That seems quite big. You'll barely notice you're holding it, I promise. You say so, thanks. A ladder. Well, we can buy the carrots. Can I please buy these carrots? Do you have money? Sure do. Plenty of it. Okay, no need to brag. Take as many <laughs> as you need. Thanks. Carrots. Cowboy carrot <laughs> Cowboy action. Cowboy carrot county. Cowboy county carrot action. How are we gonna get a fake ID? But... Oh, he probably has one. You got one for secret societies. So I took a look at all the photos in the saloon, and I think this one is definitely a ghost. Oh, really? How do you know? Bonnie helped me out by telling me the stories of all the photos. The rest of the photos seem pretty normal, but this one... This one is something else. I can just tell. The energy from this photo is very spooky and suspicious. I should have known right away, but I suppose I can only be so smart. I suppose that's true. Is it okay if I take a photocopy of this? That's fine. Hopefully this is enough proof for the Ghost Spotters League to finally let me in. If they don't, it's their loss. Hell yeah, brother. Thanks. Hey, can I give you something for your help? What do you have? A pickaxe. <laughs> Why? Sorry? Why do you have a pickaxe? What's it to you? Can't I just carry around a pickaxe? My Second Amendment right? <laughs> Is there something wrong with that? No, I guess not. But usually when people give stuff to me, they have some reason for having it in the first place. Do people give stuff to you often? Yeah, pretty often. Okay. Well, I don't really have an explanation for the pickaxe thing, sorry. That's okay, I guess. Just one more mystery that will haunt me for the rest of my days. That seems really intense. It's just a pickaxe. For you, maybe. Whatever. Thanks for the pickaxe. You're welcome, brother. Oh, that's a you said. <laughs> Find the hats. <laughs> oh, to break in. No, we need a fake ID. That's what she said. The fake ID's in the vault. <laughs> hmm. You think so? I don't know. Can I get anything? No. What items do we have? We have. Rang said ladder, carrots, pickaxe. I need something to. No, yeah, maybe my hands. maybe the ladder could help us instead of having to get on the scooter each time, but I'm not sure. I don't think so. If you should talk to Mayor. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, these could come in handy. Haha, <laughs> get it? Handy. Gloves. 
Excuse me? Yes, Sheriff? Those are evidence. Evidence of what? Gloves. Crime. Oh, I'll leave them here. No. No? Take them. Aren't they evidence? Not yet. Cool! <laughs> That's susky. <laughs> Look at this. When I was a young boy. <laughs> He's so short. And, um, howdy, Sheriff Mason Mole. Hello. How's your new position here? What? The job. Are you enjoying being the sheriff? Yes. That's great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Okay. You know, you look really familiar. Have I seen you around before? No. Hmm, strange. You must have a familiar face. No. Ha, you're probably right. My memory plays tricks on me all the time. Yes. So how'd you meet Lobster Cop? School. You've known each other since school? That's wild. You must be close. Yes. Lobster Cop is pretty hard to please. He must think highly of you su to suggest you as a new sheriff. Yes. That's nice, isn't it? To have a friend who thinks the world of you. Yep. What were you doing before this? Before? Before you became sheriff. Did you have a different job? Yes. What was it? I helped. Helped? I helped out. Helped out who? With what? Not important. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. Haha, <laughs> there I go again, being nosy. Goodbye. Oh, okay, see ya. He is sussy. Motive could be wanted to be the only person in town with a hat. Previous job help out. I was going to say, I think he might be the only one with a hat. And he just can't see it because it's on his head. What do you mean he can't see it because it's on his head? Because he's wearing it. He can't see it in his own head if it's not in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. How many cactus apples do you need? Four. That's one prickly cactus. Good thing I have these gloves to protect my soft little fingies. Yeah, I need four. Okay, let's zoom here around. No, oh, they don't look big enough. <laughs> Run it over. Can I jump you off can, of it? Yeah, I was gonna say, good life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Which button are you pressing? Square. Instead of? X. Oops. <clears throat> Yeehaw! Starfish. <laughs> Can you grab him? No, I can't. Yes. You just need one more. Yeehaw! There's a person up there. Yeah, hold on. That should be enough flowers. So what does um lobster cop need besides a meal? 
Um, I gotta need to have find a good meal. The crime scene. Crime scene and motive, I think. Okay. Maybe he needs the pickaxe. Hmm. Wow, look at you. Huh? Your jumper, your vacant smile, those piercing eyes. Are you a model? I certainly am. Not. Maybe it's time to start modeling. Maybe. Or maybe it's time to solve a mystery. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Manny. <laughs> Actually, I don't know what you mean. I'm a detective. Ah, <laughs> um, is there a problem? I don't want any trouble. I'm an outlaw, you see. My name is Sherman. Why would you tell me your name if you're an outlaw? Authority and I don't always see eye to eye. I have no authority at all. You have the authority to steal my heart. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because of your good looks. Gay frog wedding. Yeah, literally gay frog wedding. It's just a little joke. Not about your looks. You look great. It was like, you could like, steal my heart because you're so dashing. I did play one and two, yeah. We and we both voice characters. Oranges is here. Oh yeah, I am. Haha, <laughs> you're too kind. Anyway, how can I help you, detective? Let me hear about the missing hats. The missing hearts? You've stolen them! Sorry, just joking. Maybe not the time for my killer sense of humor. The hats, right? Mine was stolen! Do you have any leads? Who done it? That's what I'm here to figure out. Did you see anything suspicious over the last couple of days? <laughs> I looked in the mirror. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> that is funny. I'm suspicious looking because I'm an outlaw. Oh, haha. Uh -huh. Hmm. Well, honestly, I'm a bit confused about how this new sheriff came to the picture. My fellow outlaw, Rhonda Dynamite, was working up the courage to ask to be the new sheriff. Clearly, she didn't get the courage in time because this new guy, Mason Mole, wandered in like he owns the place. You don't like him? Oh, don't get me wrong, he's okay. I just don't know why he wants to be sheriff. Cowboy County has always been a lawless land. That's the way we like it. Everybody respects and understands each other here. So I thought it would be better if the sheriff was one of us. Not saying he'll lead a bad job or anything, but I just hope he keeps the county as kind as it ever was. Have you spoken to him much? He's barely said two words the whole time he's been here. I assume he's shy, so I'll give him time to settle in. But I don't know. It can be strange when someone new comes into your community. I really want to be as welcoming as possible, but I have a few concerns. Interesting. Why are you so suspicious of Mason Mole? It's not like me to be suspicious, really. You know me. I do not. Not yet. Wink. Oh! <laughs> oh let's go anyway i just don't really understand his motives why is he here hmm i'm not sure obviously i want to trust lobster cuff's judgment but this new guy's so quiet and shady do you even know what job he did before this i have no idea do you know nope <laughs> figures well we did ask him and he said his job was I helped. Help steal the hats? No, he just said I helped. Yeah, he helped steal the hats. <laughs> no, dirty, dirty bastard. Any reason you're hanging out by the mines? Well, yeah. I heard there's gold in there's there. There's gold in them hills. Wow. I really like gold. I don't mean to sound sensitive, but I want to ask. Is it a thing for sloths to like gold? Why do you ask? My friend Martin is a sloth and also loves gold. He made a crown out of it. Oh, this is in um, the Haunted Island. Sounds heavy. Yeah. Well, I haven't really thought about it before, but yes, I think sloths do like gold. Then again, who doesn't? Ooh, baby. <laughs> I find it doesn't suit my complexion. Oh I think my. anything would suit your complexion. Winks again. 
Oh my dog in chat. <laughs> but anyway, I've been trying to get into the mine, but it's all blocked up. Dang, have you tried exploding it with dynamite? What? No, that sounds really dangerous. I was thinking more along the lines of a pickaxe. Oh, that probably is better, Yam. Do you have one? I can trade you for a, a shovel. I'll think about it. We have a pickaxe. You mentioned you want a pickaxe, right? Sure did. I have one here if you'd be willing to trade for the shovel. Ooh, I'd love that, thanks. I could also trade for a nice dinner, just you and I. Heh, <laughs> I'll take the shovel for now. <laughs> Offer's open. Maybe after I've solved the case. Okay! And a date. Wow, we got a date. <laughs> you got a shovel and a date. I don't know what to use a shovel for. Dig a grave. Oh, because the hats are in one of the grave. Oh. In the graveyard, probably. <laughs> I found it difficult to pay attention. Those eyes. Those damn eyes. Sherman, you make me blush. So funny, so cool. <laughs> I don't think he did it. I hope. So, I mean, we're in character. Mm hmm. Isn't that a spoon? What? Yeah, there's just a spoon here. Let's see. So I guess we should go back to do the stew. Oh yeah, because we have all this stuff. Oh wait, it's over here. I mean, can you ride the scooter in there? Let me see. Ah. Damn. <laughs> Can I ask you some questions? Here's carrots! And cactus flowers! Hey, I managed to procure some carrots for your stew. You're the best detective. How do you even manage that? I simply went next door and bought some. That's so cool. I'll add them to the stew now. And we have cactus flowers. I've just been flower picking. Great! Here's what I've collected so far. I'll add them to the zoo. I really wish you told me that the cactus flowers are so hard to get. I nearly pricked myself. Haha, <laughs> did you? That's so funny! It's not funny at all! It's hilarious! It is not hilarious. That would've hurt! Ha ha ha. Yeah, it would've. Good thing I managed to find some gloves. Ew, like secondhand gloves? First and second hand, yep. Well, thanks for getting them. No problem. Hey, would you look at that? What? You had all the ingredients. I mean, it was a pretty simple task. I'm so proud of you. What's wrong? He was a little condescending. What's condescending about being proud of you? All I did was pick some flowers and go to the store. That's more than I did. I suppose. Just give me a sec. I'll finish up the stew and give you some. Great, thanks. I reckon I could give this to Lobster Cop. Do whatever you want. Stew whatever you want. I guess, is this stew a meal? I assume so. Hey, let's look look at everyone else. We yeah. still need a fake ID. We need ID. a fake ID. Crime scene that criminal tool tool key. We have the we have a tool for it in a shovel, and we have the meal. Yeah. Or what it means by key? The key to the graveyard. Oh look. A little mousey. Rhonda Dynamite! They come from far and wide to face off with the powerful Rhonda Dynamite. Rhonda Dynamite? That's -a me. Ready our weapon, Frog. It is time for us to do battle. I do not have a weapon, and I'm not super interested in doing battle. Then why are you here to face me? This is my land, Frog. You cannot just waltz in here and expect to take it. Your land? You own this scooter bar? 
No, but I loiter here every day. Everybody knows this. Where have you been? Do you live under a rock frog? I thought a lily pad might be more suitable. Ha! I live at 100 Skeleton Street, Slippery Pond. Did you just give me your full address? Yes. You literally just met me. Don't give your full address to strangers. Why not? How else are you going to know where I live? You have a great point. Oh, Grace. The detective does not have a great point. Do not give your address out to strangers. Unless your house is super cool and you're mega rich. Then tell people where you live. Because how else are you they going to know you live in a mansion? Okay, even then, just send them a photo and don't give them your address. Thanks for playing. I'll leave you to it. But she didn't come up with the... Don't give your bank information to strangers. Anyway, I'm not sure why you're trying to fight me. Would you like me to leave? I think that one's more obvious. As, <laughs> as obvious as both are. Nah, I'm just enjoying having some company. So, what do you do? Hmm? What do you do as a job? Oh, I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the case of the missing hats. Just in time. When you find the culprit, bring him here. I'll beat him up. What? No! Give him a taste of these fists. Whew. Kick him on the nose. Wah. Tie their shoes together and trip him up. Yow. Tell them they're ugly. Please, no! Grace wants our bank info? Maybe. That's why she didn't warn us about it. I'm an outlaw detective. I hate it when people do the wrong thing. What? <laughs> That's the opposite of an outlaw. Hmm. You're right. I think this life isn't for me anymore. I think you you can be a vigilante. <laughs> That's what you want. You think so? To be honest with you, detective, I was meaning to apply for the sheriff position. Oh yeah, we know this. Oh, it was filled just before I got here. Yeah, I know. By some rando. His name is Mason Mole. I'm sure a lobster cop wouldn't have given the job to just anyone. He must be very qualified. Doesn't mean he's not a rando. I suppose not. What makes you want to be the sheriff? I'm a natural leader. I run the outlaw group with class and style, and I love to help others. Got a problem that needs solving? I'm your girl. And I'm tough. No one's gonna mess with me. Wow, you sound like a great fit for the job. I think so too, but it's too late now. Not necessarily. You could always talk to Mason Mole, show him your expertise. Maybe you could be co-sheriffs. That's a great idea. About being the sheriff. How do you intend to become the sheriff? By force. I will simply beat up Mason Mole. What? You can't do that. Yes, I can. I'm Ronda Dynamite. The rules don't apply to me. What did Mason Mole ever do to you? I don't know, but he's shifty. Just don't trust his face. Please don't take the role by force. Have you tried submitting a resume? A, a resume, you say? Like a list of my skills and experience? We have paper and pen. Yeah, I think that would be a better option than beating up Sheriff Mason Mole. Less fun, though. True. Hmm, I don't really have the writing supplies for making a resume. If I had paper and stuff, <laughs> I could probably manage it. I can get you the writing supplies. Writing supplies. <laughs> just please don't beat up the sheriff. Fine, fine. I was just thinking about it. <laughs> you can beat up the sheriff. What kind of work do you do? Well, detective, I'd love to tell you. But I need to know I can trust you. Oh, I understand. If you're worried about me telling on you, I won't tell. My only concern today is the mystery of the missing hats. If you've stolen the hats, I will totally tell on you, though. That's reasonable. Well, okay then. I'm a mouse of many skills. I specialize in forgery and fraud. She wants to be a sheriff? Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's our in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wow, sounds intense. It's mostly a lot of printing stuff out. I can forge all types of things. Important documents, IDs, I was going to say that. Ooh, birth certificate, you need to name it. Blah, blah, blah. Did you forge a certificate that says number one best detective? Why? No reason. I'm just joking. <laughs> Pretend I didn't say that. Okay. 
give her the writing supplies. And then we get the fake ID. And, and then we, we get her, in the mail. And then, and then they will have the key. I have some writing supplies right here. Oh, how did you get the, those writing supplies? So quickly. <laughs> I have to compose a beautiful poem. Sounds boring. But thanks for getting those writing supplies for me. I appreciate it. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. I have a bunch of skills. I wish I had a bunch of skills. I have an extraordinary set of skills. <laughs> we can't all be Rhonda Dynamite. I will find you. <laughs> uh, fake ID Keep for Susie. Oh. <laughs> you mentioned you can forge identification, right? I sure can. I was wondering if you could help me out. Sure, anything from my friend the detective. Amazing! I need to get a fake ID made for Susie. Can you help? Can do. Did you want to know what it's for? Nope. I'm not interested in other people's business. I knew it was coming. Good rule of thumb. I'll get that ready for you in a jiffy. <laughs> oh, well, there's a ding, like, baked in the <laughs> oven. <laughs> all right, all done. Anything else I can help you with? I think I'm good for now. Thanks so much. You're very welcome. No worries, partner. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> Out of context, <laughs> got a fake Big ID. ID. <laughs> <clears throat> she got a cool name. What is in the picture like that? I honestly don't think she would need a motive to steal the hats. Just a hunch. Knows my full address. Yep. Whose fault is that? It's for him to recite the poem. Oh yeah, a stage. The first, the last, the, the first person you talk to is the last one you give it to. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before I give you this, just know that this makes me very uncomfortable. But I know how important it is for me to solve this case and press lobster cop. So it's so... okay to do some crimes. Here's your fake ID. As long as I get yes! the promotion. Yes! This rules. It looks so realistic. I don't think it looks realistic at all, but it should be enough to get you in. Okay, I'll be right back. It worked! Thanks, Detective. I'll be sure to tell everyone I know about how you helped me. Oh, uh, no, that's okay. You don't need to tell anyone. Hey, Coach. Hear ye, hear ye. The detective helped me break into a bank. No, no! They should call you the burglar. I do not want to be called that. Fine, fine. Here, I got the map out for you. And I got my real ID out, so I won't be breaking the rules anymore. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks for the map. I think it'll be a big help. We've helped everyone, right? Yes. So... Uh, this, this. I've seen that criminal tool, key meal. I wonder what the key is. Let's double check. But let me see if we help everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Left alone, it seems. I'll put him as suspicious. what it's me. Always suspect yourself and also believe in yourself. Being alive is confusing. True. Can you suspect yourself? <laughs> yes. Can you... <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Thank you. Can you get- Wait, let's see the- um... <clears throat> Ooh, and that, the ladder. The, the ladder- Oh, wait, wait. The crime lab. It's at the top of the... Can you go behind the church? Church. See if... Because if you could dig there, maybe there's a key? Oh, there's a literal key that I need to find. Yeah. I thought I, I meant to point So that. maybe we can use a shovel to dig Or Alright. Right. Go... See if you can go up there. Ugh. Just move the camera up there. I thought I saw something. Da, 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 da. 
Yeah, I can't think of anything. I think Coach is the one who showed me that song. So. <laughs> God, I can't. I'm trying to get up there. I don't know if I can. Yeah, there's yeah, a wall. Boo! Boo! So what I used to show. Oh, for. this this song, the scooter song. It sounds like summer wine. There's no place where I can dig. Let's look at our stuff. Do you want to give what we have to Lobster Cop? Okay. I don't wanna, but okay. What's in this little area? This one, this thing, I haven't, I wasn't able to get it. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> so, you finished? Huh? Did you find all the things I asked for? I think so. Ah, great initiative. Let's take a look. Map of the crime scene? Looks like a map of the graveyard. Well, that could be it. We'll have to wait and see. Who capable of aiding criminal activity? Oh, a shovel. Hmm. I think you could be right, Detective. Okay, the shovel is the tool. Oh, yeah, it is. A key that will lead us to a clue. You do know what a key is, don't you? Meal for the number one best detective, that's me. Thank you very much. As the number one best detective, let's go, Mets. The stew is <laughs> clearly Mets. for me. Ah, so I don't have everything after Fuck all. Fuck the Yankees. You're on the right track, I suppose. But if you want to solve the mystery, you must bring me everything I ask for. I'll get right on it. Forget about it. <laughs> um. So the ladder has to be used for something. Because the shovel's used for the bag. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Can you, can you see it? Talk to him and see if you can go through the doors. What, these? Mm. You talk to him again? Wait. I thought the game was announced with the voice acting when you all eventually played it. <laughs> That's very sweet, thank you. You can come back. You can watch the VOD and see what you missed. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> this bitch isn't saying anything. Oh? <laughs> I feel so nosy talking to him. Ha! <laughs> um. Okay, so I help everyone. So, what do I use the ladder for? Oh, I said letter. Sorry, I meant to say ladder. No, no, I said no. I just misunderstood. I'm gonna go upstairs. Yeah, now. there might be someone upstairs now. Hmm. I jumped too far. Ladder. Can I just jump this fence? Whoop! Maybe. Whoop! <laughs> da -da -da. No, it's not letting me. Oh, it's just right there. What do I do about the ladder? I might try and do that in my spare time. <laughs> <laughs> Can you mean if we talk to everyone again? Nothing. Hmm. Yeah, the- our manager- wait, no, what's his name? The penguin. 
He bought supervisor. us supervisor. He bought us his razor scooter. Does the worm need him? <laughs> No, I meant so. the one playing the piano. Oh, if he needs help. See if you can go into that door that was closed before. Where? And you can check the map, I guess, and see if there's somebody who missing. I guess that's still closed. There's a worm playing the piano? Yeah, yeah, I'll have to show, show coach. At the well. Let's go to the well. <gasps> the there's well! Some, there's someone in the well. And they have the, the, it's at the keys at the bottom of the, the well. Key, the keys at the bottom of the well, you're right. You're so right. The bottom of the well key. We'll show the worm. Here he is. I like how there's a stool for him. <laughs> but he's not even using it. I think that would have been hard to... Hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> Most impressive is not using the pedals. <laughs> oh, you missed the buff worm video. True. And the curse. The curse. Okay. Oops. Hey, this ladder is perfect for climbing on this well. Lucky me. Here we go. Ladder usage. Oh, a key. People are so careless nowadays. Ever heard of a keychain? I'll take this with me. Got a key. Okay, we literally have everything now. Let's get out of here. Not only is this ladder perfect for climbing down, I can also use it for climbing up. Lucky me. <laughs> Alright, time to go to Lobster Cop. You Pokemon game? To lower their friendship? To lower their friendship. Look at this cute math character. Rhonda Dynamite. She's so cute. I think she's me. Ton of scooters. And then there's these bear pictures over here. Here's the current owner's picture or painting. Crits. Instead, because of high friendship. I feel like that's good, but I'm not sure how. Wouldn't you want them to stay alive? Dang. We can't go in ourselves. It is good if you're bad at Pokemon. Okay, well then, I guess I'm bad at Pokemon. <laughs> I'm waiting for Orius to come back. We are about to crack this case wide open. I think Lobster Cop is sussy too. Motive, there's no possible motive for Lobster Cop to do this. Yeah, there is. Mm -hmm. 
key in there? Yeah. There was no one at the bottom of the well. It's, it's, corru it's corruption. Okay, so it is the mayor. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, would you look at that? The rookie came through. Nice work. <laughs> Thank you, Lobster Cop. You go ahead and check out the crime scene. I'll be right behind you. I just have some quick business to look at. I'm basically doing this whole mystery. I can do that. Yes, you can. I'll take that meal now, though. Lunchtime for a lobster cop. It's all yours. Enjoy. Oh, you bet I will. Go do my job. Yeah, I'm doing your job for you, but... Okay. Never trust a cop. Mm-hmm. You can put suspect on him. What? You want me to put suspect on him? He's a cop. <laughs> Well, here goes nothing. I'm Frog Detective 3, <laughs> Corruption at Cowboy County, 2022. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. It looks like a Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. That rat. Corruption. According to their map, this is where the hats are hidden. An odd crime, if you ask me. I wish I could figure out the motive of this crime. It doesn't make any sense. Oh well. I'll just dig these up and hope Lobster Cop has more information. No! You already did a fake joke earlier. I did. Mad. Great, I found the hats. Not even stepped. I'm sure everyone will be so relieved to have them back. I'll take them back to town. It sure is nice to have a simple resolution to this mystery. Got lost hats. Oh yeah, there's a Stetson University, and the, there's um the people on like their teams. They're called the Stetson Hatters. Why? <laughs> it's quiet all of a sudden. Oh. Because it's the cowboy hat. Oh. But yeah, there's a Stetson University. Who sold them? I don't know. <gasps> <clears throat> Something's happening. Up <clears throat> Hello? Here comes the detective now. Just in time for the town meeting to begin. It's all settled. The first order of business is home. Please read of home. All right. And Juliet is the son. <laughs> Hello, I would like to read you my poem. This is my first time performing a poem, and I am nervous. Please do not laugh. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I saw a oh, cowboy boy, eat a snack. A bowl of cereal from his sack. <laughs> he finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off to get some more. Slow down the tempo, but just ahead, to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. <clears throat> he waddled over. Concentrated face, only to discover <laughs> a tumbleweed in its place. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went to tell his friend Ned. Mad Lib Poem by us, Dusty and Froggy. <laughs> it wraps in applause! Beautiful. Thank you for the poem. Next order of business. Crime solved. Gasps. I'm pleased to announce I've recovered. Wait. I'll stop you right there, detective. 
I am pleased to announce I have found the culprit in the case of the missing hats. Whispering. 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 I worked hard to come to this conclusion, so I trust I will have your full attention as I go through the facts. You did not work at all. Yeah, because I'm a Liars. cop. I get other people to do the work for me. Please pay attention. Earlier today, I had the pleasure of appointing Mason Mole the title of sheriff. Everybody likes this. Not me. I'm Rhonda Dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> yes. This is a universally loved decision. Like how everybody loved the Mets. Let's go Mets. Shortly after, <laughs> the detective arrived. That's me. Yeah, quiet, please, detective. Shut the fuck up. Frog face. Get it because you're a frog. As soon as the detective arrived, I'm sure you all noticed your hat's going missing. He's blaming what? us. He's blaming us. <laughs> it's big murmured agreement. He's trying to get knock out his competition. This is a, he's a dirty cop. Wait. It is with great sadness I have to tell you this. The culprit of this crime, the hat stealing monster of Cowboy County, is none other than the second best investigator. Fraud. Yes! Wait, what? I have been presented a piece of evidence by our own very own Mason Mole that ties the detective to the crime, and it's the gloves. What evidence? This. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a mistake. I was digging at the hatch because I had found their location. Then why do you look so mischievous, eh? I don't. Someone has drawn eyebrows on me. I don't even have eyebrows. You have to admit, detective, you have a big motive. A motive? To, to get his job. What? You've come into a town that prides itself on hats. It's a well-known fact that you cannot wear hats. <laughs> so if I can't wear hats, no one can. Weird head shape. He, the sheriff, um, Sheriff Mason Mole is basically Ice Bear. Um, yeah. Thank you, Sheriff Ice Bear. Because of your weird head shape. <clears throat> but I don't mind if other people wear hats. Seems to me you do, detective. Why else would you steal the hats and hide them when nobody would ever find them? I'm rhyming. But I did it, I swear. Tell it to the judge, copper. What judge? Hmm. That's a good point. We haven't seen a crime like this in our society before. We'll have to invent a punishment. I have an Ice idea. Ice Bear has an idea. <laughs> what is it? Bad room. What? That's less of an idea, more of an ominous concept. I will elaborate. <clears throat> you put Frog Detective in the bad room. For punishment of crime. No! Shocked murmuring. <laughs> an excellent, if shocking idea, Sheriff Mason Bear. Mason Bear? Because he's Ice Bear. Yeah, but also... No, he's Ice Bear. Isn't this solitary confinement? <laughs> no, that'd be the hole. <laughs> the hole. We will construct the hole at once. <laughs> I already made it. <clears throat> it is in my office. Oh, well in that case, uh, detective, I sentence you to one year of living in the bad room. One year? That's what they do to prisoners. That's what they do. They're like, oh, you just said, you, you like, we're like, hey, buddy. And then they're like, okay, you're in the hole for three months. That's true. This is the worst day of my life. Destroy solitary confinement. The end. Hey, you. Oh, he's not even walking anymore. He's just... And he's... Hey, you. You're finally awake. <laughs> Bad root. Achievement on my... Oh. Looks like he's holding a gun. When it's... <laughs> You mean his magnifying glass? No, when, when you can't see the actual glass and it just looks like him holding the thing. <clears throat> just wanna go home to sleep. <gasps> what? It's over? No. No. Hold on. Check the achievement list. Wait, as the burglar, wait, check, check, we need to check, uh, we need to, uh, 
check the achievement list. Hold on. <laughs> this can't be Young it. Frog Detective. Not can you shift tab for me? You get the bad ending? Is there more than one ending? But you have two out of six achievements. I don't know if they roll fake credits. Are we supposed to wait? And talk and just go talk to Kylie Minogue? Um, <laughs> and just talk to Lobster Cop? What do you mean? The grassy the next Drake, generation. Aubrey Jesus Graham. Episode 11. <laughs> yes, Aubrey Graham, there he is. Oh my god. Look at him. Took my time in learning how to be the best. So what comes now? Can't remember not doing. While I'm here, maybe but why would he? Well, he did say he stole the hats because he has a weird shaped head, and if no, if I can wear hats, then no one can. Why would you steal? No, it's not me! I just got here! This song slaps though. <laughs> um, we'll see. I did- I was not expecting such a random episode of Degrassi. Is this the real ending? We don't know. I, I haven't looked <gasps> it up. I have a laptop. I have contact with the outside world. Are we going to start a petition for clemency? Mm -hmm. And talk about the corruption in Cowboy County? I have a blog. My loyal frog blog readers. It's hour number one of my time <laughs> in the bedroom. I know that I am innocent. Unfortunately, because the number one best detective put me here, nobody will believe me. That's what you get for being second best. I'm not sure anybody reads my frog blog anymore because of my alleged crimes, but if you are reading, thank you. I hope to prove my innocence in the case of the hat theft and return to being as good of a detective as I can be. <laughs> I'm not sure why Sheriff Mason Mole has framed me. But my hope is that it's all just one big misunderstanding, as is the case with most of the mysteries I am involved in. It would really hurt my feelings to know that he did this on purpose. I am grateful that Lobster Cop has given me access to a computer so I can continue to write my blog posts. <laughs> Though I must say I am not sure if I'll have much to write about here. Thank you for reading, Frog Detective X. This is so sad. Wait, the supervisor has to see this. Mystery monkey. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> I can't believe this. What's going on? 
I'm reading the latest Frog Vlog blog post. I was so excited to see how the detective solved the mystery in Cowboy County. <laughs> but I can't believe it. The detective has been framed for a crime. Crime is real? <laughs> Let's not jump to any conclusions here. Of course, sorry. <laughs> what do we do, Mo? Um, we get back to our science work? <laughs> I can't possibly concentrate on our scientific discoveries in these conditions. Mo, I have to help the detective. Oh, is our friend gonna help bail us out? How are you gonna do that? <laughs> I'll have to solve the mystery myself. <laughs> it's Mystery Monkey's turn to shine. Oh my god! Magical girl transformation! Magical monkey! <laughs> oh, the wink! I love it. Looks like those water bottles. That's what? The sound. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look after the lab, Mo. I'm not coming on until after. How come he has a gravelly voice now that he's a detective? <laughs> he's still a monkey, though. Wow, this monkey is so cool. Goddamn. It was just for Mo. Talking to Mo. Oh boy, I got my own loaded Look screen. Look at that guy I had a date with. True. A little later. Hey, you gotta talk to Sherman, see if he if he wants a date only with Frog Detective. Can I help you? I'm super wait, that's you. Hi, supervisor. My name's Mystery Monkey. We talked on the phone a while back about the mystery of the haunted island. Of course. How can I forget? It's good to see you. <laughs> Likewise. I realize this is highly unusual, but I'm here about one of your detectives. Ah, is that Lobster Cop? He's the best. No. Investigator Eel? Nope. Inspector Iguana? The Incredible Sandy Moth P.I.? Why does he not mention me? No, none of those. I don't think of any- I can't think of any others. Uh... I'm here about Frog Detective. <laughs> oh, of course. Our second best detective. <laughs> well, the detective isn't around right now. I sent my top two- two top investigators to help over in Cowboy County. You haven't heard? Heard what? Detective has been framed for a crime over in Cowboy County. <laughs> That's terrible news. How can you be sure it's a setup? Story doesn't add up. And I know fraud <laughs> detective would never do something as horrible as steal the town's heads. Well, there is a clear motive there. He has a weird shaped head. I know, I know, but it's so out of character. Even if the detective is guilty, punishment is really harsh. <laughs> The detective has been sent to the bad room. Oh no! Dot dot dot. What's the bad room? It's something that Sheriff Mason Mole invented. Mason Mole, that name sounds familiar. Oh? <laughs> I've seen him around before, just sort of loitering around the offices. Loitering, you say? I remember a kind of shady guy hanging around on Martin's Island back when we were there to investigate the ghost noises. He arrived shortly before the detective, but I didn't get a chance to catch his name. He didn't even say hello. Oh boy, is he connected in all these? When I saw his photo on the frog blog, I knew right away something was amiss. Great detective skills, mystery monkey. <laughs> I know it's a big ask, but do you mind if I snoop around in frog detective's office to look for clues? Be my guest. Frog detective prison evolution is true. Look at him, walk in, walk in. Monkey! Monkey! Jail shouldn't be a thing anywhere. Yes, fraud detective should be a prison abolitionist. Bad room, maximum five minutes. All lobster cops are bastards. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Good night. What am I gonna find here? 
You'll just have to see the stunning conclusion <laughs> some other time. Blue detecting powder. How convenient! I'll just spread this powder around and take another look for clues. Oh, the those movies where you spray and then the lasers come up. <laughs> <laughs> ha! Is this a paint bucket? Ha! <laughs> ha! 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 Wait, that's like. Hmm. That's him taking the notebook. Nope, the notebook. And the steppies. Ha! Ha! Hmm. Ha! ha. ha. Like I'm just spraying shit. <laughs> Wait, where do these go? <gasps> they go in the lobster cups room, huh? It could be. What could Lobster Cop be hiding? Put a copy of Frog Detective's notebook. Oh, oh my god, they're gay! Lobster Cop and Mason Mole? A note. It reads... Hello, Lobster Cop. It's me, your bestie forever, Mason Mole. I've done what you asked. It's not easy to trail a detective unnoticed, but I think I did a great job. I fear that your suspicions are correct, and that Frog Detective is on the right track to overtaking your position as number one best detective! Nepotism. Is it nepotism if they're dating? Question. Keep pretending to solve mysteries instead of actually solving them. The supervisor will eventually notice. Oh my god, Lobster Cop's been pretending to solve mysteries. So I've taken the detective's notebook. Inside are some great insights to how detective works through a case. Maybe you can read and learn. But it may not be enough. As the detective gets better and better, your position as number one is threatened. I think it's time to enact the plan you came up with. It's devious and mean and not very nice. But if you want to be the best, you have to get rid of the best. Whoop! He just said Frog Detective was a vest. This can't be true! Lobster Cop, the number one best detective. A fraud? I need to get the supervisor and head to Cowboy County. There has been a terrible misjustice. Eep? Eep? What's happened? Well, we found out that it was a setup. Yeah. And that he hasn't solved any mysteries. Who? Lobster Cop? Yes. Of course he has. Yeah, he was what? piggybacking on our <clears throat> success. Is that all? Or did I miss anything else? Yeah, so to get rid of the... To be number one, you gotta get rid of the... Number two. Well, number one. They think he's really good. They think he's number one? Yes. Where am I going? I think it's on the left. Yeah. I was gonna say, you could always just be, you could just do it and then it'd be, ah, and then two seconds later it'd be like, oh, it's fine. <laughs> Have wonderful dreams. Howdy, folks. <laughs> what brings you to Cowboy County so late? I don't remember who was yeah, doing it. I think that's me. Yeah. This is our turf. You better have good reason. <laughs> we don't have any trouble. We don't want any trouble, excuse me. We hear about our good friend, the Frog Detective. Ah, the duality of frog. How can one be so kind, so poetic, and so thoughtful? And also, be a stealer of all of our hats. Stealer is not a word. <clears throat> frog so pretty, so alluring, and yet... I really trusted Frog Detective. That snake, or I guess I should say frog. I can't go on a date with a criminal, it's just not me. Hey, you can date felons, they're people too. <laughs> Aren't you a bandit? 
outlaw. <laughs> so you live outside the law. Well, when there's no laws, it makes it pretty easy. It doesn't matter anyway. Frog detective is innocent. <laughs> <laughs> sure, we all saw the photo. Those furrowed brows tell the whole story. <laughs> Frog detective doesn't even have eyebrows. Ah, so those are stolen too. No, you're mistaken. Mystery monkey found all the evidence. Who's mystery monkey? That's a me. <laughs> you, know, may, you may have read my comments before on Frog Detective's Frog Blog. I'm a pretty active user. Blogs are still a thing? Regardless, you say it was a mistake? Not so much a mistake, a setup. I have reason to believe Sheriff Mason Mole and Lobster Cop coordinated the takedown of our beloved Frog Detective. What? That's so messed up. Who would do that to such a beautiful frog? Oh, someone very jealous, I'm afraid. How can we help? If you could point us in the direction of where Frog Detective is being held, that would help a lot. They're gonna break him out of jail. Easy. Sheriff Mason Mole has detective locked up in bad room. At the back of his sheriff's office. I like it's in bad room, not the bad room. <laughs> if you're quiet, you should be able to sneak in without trouble. Thanks for your help, bandits. We're out. My bad. Oh. Would he still be there? <gasps> You scooter. I mean, go outside. Oh, uh, that just would have been funny. Him. Frog's detective on the scooter ship. <laughs> you probably. Uh, I mean, try talking to him. That'd be funny. No, I gotta sneak my friend out. No funny option. Mystery monkey supervisor, what are you doing here? I didn't know it was a lot of visitors. He, that's where it looks like a gun. Yeah. Or did anyone want to visit? We're here to bust you out. <laughs> what? Mystery monkey is proof you're framed. I knew it. Sheriff Mason Mole was up to something. It's not just him, detective. I'm sorry to tell you that I believe Lobster Cop and Mason Mole planned this all along. Can't be. Lobster Cop is number one best detective. Why would he try to frame me? It's hard to know for sure until we ask. It looks like Lobster Cop has been dealing with a bad case of jealousy. Green with envy, one might say. I was gonna say he's got green eyes, and then that happened. Envious? Of who? You, you dumb shit. <laughs> it's not possible. Time to shift your understanding of the world, detective. Not everyone is out to do a good job and solve mysteries like you. Simply can't believe it. Well, let's wait until dawn and confront Lobster Cop and Mason Mole once and for all. The sun is coming up as we speak. I'll call a, t I'll call a town meeting. <laughs> Ooh, bless you. Oh, thank you. Sorry, I was just so offended by the corruption that I, I, I had a reaction. <laughs> Baby's first bad cop experience. True. <clears throat> Hey, what's the meaning of this? Let's go, Mets. Only I get to call town meeting. I have called this town meeting for a very important purpose. I have some news about the hatch steel case. But it's closed. I solved it. Is that so, Lobster Cop? Supervisor, what you doing here? Please give your attention to Mystery Monkey for just a moment. <laughs> Thank you, Supervisor. Thank you, Town, for meeting us here on short notice. Thank you, Town. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have an important question to ask you. <laughs> what? How long have you and Lobster Cop been scheming to bring down Frog Detective? <laughs> <laughs> huh. What? I... This is ridiculous. Lobster Cop, I found this secret drawer in your office. You can't just go through my office, that's a crime! <laughs> ah! Maybe? Please stop trying to invent crimes. Crime is not real. Crime is not real! So true. I mean, it technically... Yeah. <laughs> Sociologically speaking, it's all based on mores and amores. No. <laughs> 
As I was saying, I found your secret door. I found a letter that Mason Mole wrote to you that I was not here for, so I don't know what it said. I knew I shouldn't have detailed my schemes on paper. What did it say? It literally said, this is how we'll take down the frog detective. So that you'll be number one for real. But why is Mason Mole? He just wants to be sheriff somewhere? No, they're best friends. Oh, okay. Well, at least it's a bestie helping a bestie. <laughs> well, there was a picture with hearts around them both, so I'm like, gay? Gay pig wedding. No. <laughs> <laughs> One looks like a pig and the other is a pig. <laughs> Sheriff Mason Mole has been tailing the detective since I called for help with the mystery of the haunted island. As the lead scientist on the island at the time, I can confirm I had several reported sightings of Mason Mole slipping, sneaking around like a slippery snake. A sneaky snake. Wait, why didn't you tell me? It feels like someone sneaking around the island was kind of <laughs> relevant to that case. I was too starstruck. In any case, I contacted my friend Carlos, oh, I love Carlos, who runs a shop over in Warlock Woods. He also confirmed the sighting of Mason Mole hiding behind a shop. That's in the other mystery, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. What? I never. Oh, but you did. What? You might have to go back. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious if he actually is there. I don't know. Maybe. I doubt, I like, part of me doubts it, but maybe there's like an update. who <laughs> has been updated as of this release and he's there. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have reason to believe you were hired by Lobster Cop to follow the detective. <laughs> Gasp. <laughs> no, I... Uh... No, that's not... Oh, he cried. <laughs> this is all uh, a mistake. No, Mason Mo. It's time for us to come clean. Like all cops, we are bad. Frog detective, ever since you moved in next door to my office, I felt threatened. You're so methodical in your case solving. Would read your blogs and go green like a frog with him. <laughs> I've been number one best detective for so long that I grew complacent. Every time the supervisor had a mystery solved, I began to believe I wouldn't be able to do it and passed it on to you. I just began to pretend to solve mysteries, hoping the supervisor wouldn't notice. I was embarrassed at myself. Angry are you? Angry? But Lobster Cop, your investigative abilities far away mine. Shut the fuck up. Maybe they used to, but I became so focused on my own shortcomings that my work suffered. Mason Moore was there for me. Having friends is so important. An influence on each other. I needed work, and so I suggested to Lobster Cop that I help take you down, and I had a perfect plan. I'm very subtle, you see. I'm ashamed they got to this point. Instead of asking you for help, swallowing in my little that's what actually I said. Um, <laughs> or swallowing my pride, sorry for that weird thing there. I let my jealousy get the best of me. How did you frame the detective? He was a joint effort. <clears throat> when I arrived in town, I sneakily. I told you he did it. I told you he did it. Them in the graveyard. I wrote a map to where they were buried for the detective to find. But I didn't find the map. Susie did. I didn't execute it very well, I admit. Once he had the resources to dig up the hats and lost her cop at a clear alibi, I waited in place to take your photo. Wait, what was Lobster Cop's alibi? Eating. I was eating. I gotta have a good meal. Of course. I'm ashamed to say that I also drew evil eyebrows on the photo of you. But what I don't understand is why you had to put me in bad room. Praying me was bad enough, but you made a whole room for me to be trapped in. That's so unusually cruel. I'm inclined to agree. Putting somebody into a room, whether they did a naughty thing or not, seems really harsh and unfair abolish prisons. How is someone supposed to grow up in their mistakes if they're just sitting around trapped? Abolish prisons. I really hate that room. Abolish prisons. Bad room was my idea. I'm sorry. It's a terrible idea. I realize this now. My bad. Lobster cop, Mason Mole. You have done something very serious in me. Now bad room for you. Oh, no. <laughs> something similar to a crime, but there's <laughs> no the crime. there's no laws around here, so uh, uh, society doesn't have strategies in place to deal with things like this. It's just commentary. So yeah, so there's no prisons. 
Are you going to send us to bedroom? Absolutely not. That's messed up. No, but I think there needs to be consequences. 20 years hard labor. <laughs> <laughs> Lobster cop. Abuse your power in ways that I can't begin to comprehend. Mason Mole, you enabled and encouraged this behavior. I'm mad at you both. Yeah, look at him. He's so fucking mad. We deserve it. I think an appropriate course of action is to remove Lobster Cop from the detective agency. Oh, you don't need to. What will his name be now? <laughs> <laughs> Lobster. Larry the Lobster. <laughs> I think you should change career paths for your own good. <clears throat> Maybe do something that helps contribute to society. Like instead not, of being a cop. Instead of being a cop. <laughs> a cop no longer. Okay. Now I'm just handing my badge and gun. 100% Mets fan. Let's go. God. <clears throat> Wait, why do you have a gun? I didn't even know they were real. That's really messed up. Police wow. shouldn't have guns. It's not like I ever used it. Mate. Mate. <laughs> Australian moment or New Zealand <laughs> moment coming through. <clears throat> I gave Foster Cop the gun. Okay, well, yes, please hand that in. <laughs> I have an idea of what you could do as a job, Lobster Cop. Oh? Why don't you talk to Bonnie about joining the post office? What? The secret society. Lobster Posty has a nice ring to it. Oh. Can I join too? He looks so sweet. He's just a silly little guy. He's so sussy. No, but I just, it's just because he's tiny and has a cute little nose. <laughs> and by little nose, I mean it's so big that it's a cute little nose. <laughs> I don't see why not. <laughs> well then, it's settled. Lobster Posty, Posty Mason Mole, do you have anything to say to the detective? Yeah. I'm sincerely sorry for what I did do, detective. It was mean, rude, evil. Not nice. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I hope with time I can prove myself as a great Posty and right some of two spaces, the wrongs I've done. <laughs> Detective acted poorly and encouraged behavior that I shouldn't have. Yeah, the real blue lives that matter are people in the that work for the U.S. Postal Service. <laughs> I'm going to channel that energy into being a postie, and please rest assured you'll never have a late parcel again. Yeah, so yeah, make this, make every child place this so that he, <laughs> <laughs> make Johan place this this series so he's the person abolition. Thank you both for the apology. I accept it. Oh, boy. Dance party time? Say, none of that's all sorted. I have an announcement to make. Oh? Lobster Cop is no longer the number one best detective. <laughs> I mean, no shit. Um, after some impeccable <laughs> detective work on this case, I'm really pleased to announce the no number one best detective. Sheriff Mason Mole! <laughs> Congratulations to Mystery Monkey. Oh yep. my god! Mystery Monkey! It erupts in applause. Am I just forever being second? Wow, congratulations, Mystery At Monkey. At least Froggy is okay with it. I can't believe it. Ooh, I can't believe it. <laughs> thank, thank you so much. I have to shut down my research oh. facility so I can investigate full time. Hey, I'm Lobster Posty now. Let's go, Posties. You can move into my old office. There are a bunch of trophies in there for you to keep. What about Mo at the lab? Yeah, hey, fuck him. <laughs> Great. What an honor to work next door to the number one best detective. Again! This calls for a celebration. Bonnie, can you bring me party, I told party? you! Can do! Oh, and Lobster Posty. Posty Mason Mole? Yeah. You're invited too! Oh, shucks. Let's go everyone, not just the Mets. <laughs> Let's go Mets, love oh the Mets. Oh my god, why? Whoa, dance party. Yeah. At first, I was like, no fucking way is he 
<laughs> you can't end it there just because of the the eyebrows. <laughs> just the eyebrows. <laughs> Sounds like Cuphead music. It does sound like Cuphead music. But also, I would have been really upset if it ended there because I've been like, what was the fucking corruption? <laughs> Design the bad bits. Yeah, she did a lot. Design the good bits. Does this mean the end of Frog Detective? I think it is the end of Frog yeah, Detective. I think it is. This is the last Frog Detective. Ever. Oh, she did the song! Oh, she sang the song? Oh, yeah, she did. Interesting. Now, I really gotta see- I made see... you and I can destroy you. Now, I really gotta see if I can find a way into the graveyard on the scooter. Because I don't know- I would- I'm not sure if you need the, the shovel in your inventory to be able to dig it up, and I would be very curious to see if I could jump in there, and then... Oh, man. Oh, nice. Interesting. I, Australia, yes, I knew they were can Canadian. Australia slash New Zealand. <laughs> or, wait, are they from Australia? Yeah. Oh, I thought... I I'm pretty I sure Canada. they're from... That, that or New Zealand. Two weeks later. Yeah, I really want to see if I can jump inside there and then see. I can frog froggy speed run. Ding! And look at the wall. Look at the wall. Oh boy! You can do magnifying glass again on the thing to do your bit from earlier. But I already did it. About the, the dog that looks like our dog. Yeah. Frog attack the crowd. Solving agency, frog detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? A frog detective. Yes, <laughs> mystery fucking monkey. Awards. <laughs> Happy birthday! <gasps> Thanks so much. I know it's your birthday. But I have a really difficult case that I just can't crack. <laughs> <laughs> but you're number one best detective. I know, but this one's a doozy. Could you help me out? Of course, I'll be right there. It's a mystery of how you stole my heart. Oh my god, wait, but I have a date with... Sherman. Sherman! <gasps> wait, wait, go over there first. What would they do? They just put Mystery Monkey's face on top of Lobster Ghost's face! <laughs> wait, 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 go back. What about the one on the left? It's just the, it's, the it... supervisor. Okay. Oh, at first I thought they posted his face on top of the mole. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! I love that. I love the wave. Look, he's all solved so many mysteries already with a shake. Hey, detective. <laughs> well, 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 if it isn't Mystery Monkey 49. Good to see you, Frog Detective 03. What? Just a joke. Are there two other Frog Detectives? I don't know. I was just joking. You got me worried. That really stresses me out. Frog Detective 1, Frog Detective 2, and now Frog Detective 3. How do you think I feel with 48 other mystery monkeys? Hmm, that's a good point. Anyway, thanks for meeting me here. The case information is in the other room. Just head down the hallway and I'll meet you there. Will do. What? Okay. Wait. He put his face on top of this too. Alright, let's go. Let's go. <gasps> Surprise! Wow, what's everyone doing here? Well, Detective, we all appreciate everything you've done for us. Wait, who? Yeah, our town has never been so peaceful, all thanks to you. Who is Larry? Oh, it's from the old ones. Same with my island. I haven't heard a ghost in ages. I mean, technically you've never heard a ghost. We heard it's your birthday, so we all arranged to come here and surprise birthday. you. It worked! That's not all, Detective. We got you a present. It should be coming any minute now. I ordered it on Wish Bay. Lobster Cop's head. No. 
Oh, so Special birthday delivery for the birthday boy. I'm a birthday boy. <laughs> Is that for me? For me? Open it up. <gasps> oh my god! It's a hat! That can fit on my head! What if it can't fit? Wait, That'd what be is really this? funny. That's easy, Detective. It's a hat. That's easy, my love. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wear a hat due to my head shape. Why don't you just try it on? <laughs> Yay! Well, would you look at that? More, would you look it's at a hat the that hat? Fits. Oh, quiet! Yay! What are the other achievements? <laughs> you might need that. There might be a scooter trick. I think it might be a scooter trick. I, I'll probably mess around with that. <laughs> Post science discovery. <clears throat> Collaborating on our latest potion. Hey. It's Greg. So oh, we oh, got in the gold got spot. The ghost we, need. Need. we are, brother. Yeah, this is the last one. The date! We went on the date! Thanks for our date. I had so much fun. Thanks so much. Hey. <laughs> yeah, you can look at the beginning. The beginning was fun too. Eat at the reading. <laughs> She became shared. I thought that was gonna happen during it. I didn't even have to beat anyone up. <laughs> I guess this is what happens to. You're um, not. They are not the same guy. I guess not. Oh, I thought they were getting married <laughs> <laughs> because of that white outfit. <laughs> Dusty's going to Cowboys! Oh my god! god. <laughs> Employee of the month! Here come the super koala. <laughs> oh, we did koala. give him a magnet! Yes, I remember that. <laughs> There's so many shells down here. I don't mean broke the deck. Me either. Yes, dance contest. We came third. She became an actress. What happened? I was born with glass bones and paper skin. <laughs> I broke my leg. Then for my <laughs> iPhone. <laughs> I have not left the hot tub since you're here. Yeah, he was in the hot tub when we came. <laughs> Lobster Posty. Much mm -hmm. love, Suit. Not to be confused with Susie. Oh, yeah. That would have been a weird thing. For Susan her. and Susie. Number one detective in our hearts. Oh, yeah. Susan and Sussy. <laughs> yeah, I said Sussy like four times. <laughs> That game was fucking boring. No. What? <laughs> it's, just, it's just to fuck with you. <laughs> oh, I was hoping you'd have his uniform change. Yeah, he should change his uniform. He's not a cop anymore. Wait, what happens if you push play? Oh. Continue? Continue. I'm just curious. 
You can you can wait if Oh, okay. Start okay. Flashing two weeks later. Now that's Frog Detective. I might play this on my own time. <laughs> you can get all of my. I need to know if you can <laughs> jump into the graveyard. You can play on my account and get all the. I would skip the whole game. <laughs> hey, but. Um, no more streams the rest of the week. I'll be out of town. Thank y'all for watching. Yep, yep. But they should have at least put the hat on his head. Oh, I know. Like, right here. It was made for him. This hole was made for me. This is, instead of hole, it's hat. <laughs> I mean, it was, this hat was made for him, so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Guys, have a good Thanksgiving. Did not expect a frog frog detective to there's a oh second one's like ooh a silly little ghost mystery a third one prison abolition yeah, like we were joking at first and then i was like oh my god this is prison Literally. abolition <laughs> let's go <laughs> yeah yeah all right good night